Marble Bar has always been a mining town. We're uh, in the, uh, the northwest of Western Australia, about 200 kilometres inland from uh, Port Hedland, which is our nearest major settlement. It really is pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> well, it's got the name of the hottest town in Australia. Um, there was a period in the 1920s, I believe, uh, where it was 161 consecutive days over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Horizon Power's our local uh, uh, provider and they've got a very big solar um, set up here and being such a, a hot sunny climate uh, it works particularly well. Traditionally we would have had a diesel power station here supplying the grid. Um, in a microgrid you've got multiple sources of energy um, so in this case here you've got solar power plus, plus the diesel. Um, and the, the goal here is for our micro, microgrid control system is to be able to maximise the solar while minimising the diesel. The, the key component in the system is the power store and the control system that enables the, the high penetration. So in this system here you can have up to, you know, it's designed for 60% of the, of the power to come from the sun during the day. Everyone's keenly aware of the cost of transport of anything, whether it's a box of nails through to fuel at the, power, at the fuel station or fuel for the generators, anything, food, power, fuel, feed for animals, you personally have to do it. You have to look after your own power, you have to look after your own water. It's not like just going to your corner shop to get a loaf of bread because you forgot it on the weekend. For us it's a 450 kilometre round trip. But the savings are quite major, so it's, it saves about 40% of the diesel fuel, um, which would translate for this power station here, 240,000 litres of diesel a year. So there's 1,100 tonnes of greenhouse gases that have been avoided by this installation going in. I think it just makes sense. I mean, you see a lot of European countries that have a far less sun than we do over here, that are uh, uh, fairly heavily reliant on, on solar power and it just makes sense in, in this sort of climate I think. So yeah, we're, we're really proud to have something like uh, that in our town. I mean, it makes sense that you would pick the hottest town and <laughs> still some of the hottest areas to try it out.